This is a stick up. Put your hands there and turn around slow. Okay, okay, just don't hurt me. Now give me your wallet and. <coughs> and. <coughs> hey, Mac, you okay? You don't sound so good. Don't you worry about. <coughs> I mean, I've been through plenty worse. <coughs> Hey, Mac? 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 Okay, according to my calculations, we should be directly above Dot's position. All right, the landing field should be close. Look, there it is. Squill, let me just circle around so we can land this baby into the wind. Keep your eyes peeled. Don should be around here someplace. There he is. And it looks like he brought a few friends with him. Holy cow. Get this crate moving. I'm going to go aft and see if I can give him a hand. Tony, let's scram! Hey, you fellas all right back there? Sure, Tony. We're good. Boy, you really know how to bring the party crashers. That was a close one. Did you get it? Oh, I got it all right. Boy, Mr. Heinrich is gonna be kippy.
Give us all your dough and you won't have any problems. My wallet's in my inside coat pocket. It's all yours. I don't want any trouble. What's with the funny threads? What are you, some kind of boy scout? What's in the bag? My boss's lunch. Liverwurst sandwich. For some reason, I don't believe you. That's an awful big bag for a sandwich. My boss has a big appetite. So you're a wise guy, huh? We'll just take your package then as well. Look, you don't want to anger my boss. If he doesn't get the sandwich, there's going to be hell to pay. I don't care if your scoutmaster is mad at us. We're taking the bag. If I were to, say, get this bag to my boss and told him that you helped me get it to him safely, he may have a place for you in his organization. Do I look like I need a place in the Boy Scouts? I'm snatching his gold ring. It's got to be worth some decent moolah. You won't get away with this. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Dead gangster corpses are being discovered all over the city. Extra. Pretty strange how these dead gangsters' corpses keep turning up all over the city. What kind of whack job digs up dead gangsters and leaves their carcasses all over town? I'm not sure, but... Rico, my old chum, to what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? I don't have much time, and I think I'm being followed. Can we talk in private in your office? Yes, of course, my friend. Hold my calls, dollface. And can you bring us a couple cups of joe? Sure thing, boss. How do you like your coffee, Rico? Uh, black, please. Thanks. Have a seat. You look like you're about to blow your wig. I feel like I'm being followed constantly, like someone is watching my every move. Have you heard about the dead gangsters' bodies being found all over town? Of course I have. It's all over the papers. You have something to do with that? No, I would never have nothing to do with anything like that. But what's strange is that Joey and I robbed this guy the other day. We thought he was just an average ordinary guy, but we were wrong. How so? First of all, he had this getup that sort of looked like a Boy Scout. He had this sack that we nicked off him. We had no idea what was in it, but he didn't want to give it to us. As soon as I touched the sack, I felt this power surge through me. I don't know how to describe it, but something just didn't feel right about it. Thanks. And ever since I took it, I felt like I'm being followed. I could have sworn that I saw one of those dead gangsters following me. You mean you've passed their bodies on the ground, right? No, I mean, I've actually seen them following me. What? You're wacky. Does Joey have the dead gangsters following him, same as you? Joey's dead. He was found murdered in his apartment yesterday. One of the supposedly dead gangsters was found in the lobby of his apartment building. Ah, yes, good day, miss. I was hoping you could assist me. I was uh, looking for someone. Yes, sir. This is a detective agency. Finding people is our specialty. Let me just get a little information from you, okay? First, what is your name? Uh, Gustav Heinrich, but uh, that's not... And the name of the party you're trying to locate? Honestly, I don't know, miss. I was following him a few minutes ago when he entered this office. Well, we get quite a few visitors. This I ditched the package in a locker at the train station. Here's the locker info. Go get it and meet me at Joey's apartment in an hour. What do you want to do with the package? I don't know. I have no idea what to do. Maybe you can find the owner and give it back? Are you sure a man did not come in here a few minutes ago? Well... Can I help you, Mac? Uh, yes, perhaps you can. Uh, my name is Gustav Heinrich and I'm looking for the man that walked in here ahead of me. Can you perhaps tell me where he went? You mean the dumb looking face? Just a few minutes ago? Leather coat? That would be him. He had the wrong office. He wanted the office a few doors down. 
I'm sorry to have bothered you. You say he vents the office two doors down? Yeah, I think it was the insurance company. Well, I bid you good day, sir. Uh, my sincerest apologies if I was a bit brash, miss. What was that all about? Rico got himself into trouble again, and this time it may be serious. I need to run an errand for Rico. Hopefully it won't be a trip for biscuits. Do me a favor, call our chum Gordon at the police department. See if he knows anything about this Heimer character. I'll be in touch with you later. Will do, Chief. Be careful. Say, Mac, can I get the contents of this locker? Yes, sir. Right away. Here you are, sir. Thanks, Mac. You held? Who wants to know? Seeing as I'm asking, maybe I want to know. Sure. I'm Max Helms. I got a message for you. What's the message? I left it with your pal upstairs. Rico, you poor bastard. You never could stay out of trouble, could you? Helms Investigations. Polly, it's Max. I need you to use your resources to find out everything you can about Johnny Knuckles Vandalay. Johnny Knuckles Vandalay. Got it. Right away. Thanks, Dollface. I'm on my way back to the office now. Make sure you lock the office door. Just trust me on this. Something strange is afoot. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I will. So please, lock the door. Don't open it for anyone. I'll see you in a few minutes. Goodbye.
tell the boss he's here. Okay. That blockhead had the nerve to fill my hat full of daylight. I think I'll need your assistance tonight, my old friend. Here, take these gats. A nosy little flatfoot named Helms is here. The boss wants you to get rid of him. Watch this. I'll handle Dick Tracy here. Hey Helms, got a little surprise for you. Finish this clown off and get the package. We gotta go help the boss get the dame ready. Drop your gun. Slowly hand me the package. Don't try anything stupid. I guess that wasn't too stupid for you. Max, are you okay? Never been better, dollface. That's enough, Don. You shouldn't be so rude to our guest. After all, he brought us the package that you lost. Oh, I must thank you for delivering the contents of the sack to me in one piece. Okay, I'll bite. What's in the sack? Hmm, I'll show you what's in the sack. You see, my attempts thus far at reviving my fallen friends to help us my criminal empire have been short-lived, to say the least. So you have something to do with all the criminal corpses turning up all over the city? Hmm, oh indeed I do. I must apologize to the mayor for littering so much. But with this relic you have brought me, I will become ruler of the city and will not have to apologize for anything. You're off your rocker, Heinrich. How is a mask supposed to help you rule the city? Well, according to the legends, the mask can revive the dead permanently. My previous attempts resulted in an eight-hour reanimation. Hardly enough time to start an undead criminal empire. All right, Heinrich. You have your mask. Now let Polly go. Well, I, I suppose you did fulfill your end of the bargain. Now let me give you a demonstration of the mask's power. It would be the last thing that either of you ever see. Bali What are we going to do, Max? I'll figure something out. Heinrich must be stopped. Kalima! 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 Oh my god! 
Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, no need to cry, my dear. Bringing Max back from the dead to serve me was all part of my plan. Just wasn't part of the plans this soon. Stand back while the mask works its magic. Bali chadroge, bali mangdi kalema, mukti degi kalema, 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 kalema shakti de, bali chadaun terage svikar karo. I command you to open your eyes, Max! What? What happened? You were brought back from the dead by the mask. You are now the first servant in my legion of the undead! I'll never serve a madman like you. Quick! Shoot him, Max! I, I... I can't! Ha! Whoever controls the mask controls anyone reanimated by it! You are now my minion, Max, and you cannot resist me! I am your master! Now I order you to shoot Polly! Fight it, Max! You can do it! Polly! I'm sorry! Oh, hurry it up! I have a lot more people to reanimate! What have you done?! No! You think they made it out? Judging by the piles of ashes where they once stood, I doubt it. Looks like the legend of the relic ends in a blaze of glory. Are you okay? Surprisingly, I feel quite good for being dead. What should we do now? Do you want me to take you to Doc Johnson to see what he can do? Actually, right now, I'm extremely hungry. What do you say we go down to that diner for a nice T-bone steak and figure out what to do from there? I always think much better on a full stomach. That's my Max, always thinking with his tummy.